We are here just down the road from the Lions in North Ridgeville, Ohio at the Riddell facility. This is where the Lions helmets are made and we are going to take a little bit of a tour today. I'm joined by Ben Marker who is the general manager here at this facility and it hasn't been open for long. That's right. We just opened the uh, beginning of May. All right. Well, we are excited to get started and see what you guys do here. So tell us what you're going to show us today. Okay. We're going to show the, the actual shell being pulled out of the inventory. We're going to see it painted. And then we're going to see the final completion. We're going to see a decal and final assembly. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. So the process starts back here in the inventory workhouse. So what do we start with here? All right. We start off with the, the light gray shell. It comes from a local manufacturer desk down the street in Macedonia, Ohio. All right, so it doesn't have to travel far to get here. And what kind of helmet is this? This is a speed flex shell. So we're going to see a speed flex from start to finish. Today. Correct. So the next step after the shell is pulled is we're going to paint the helmet Detroit Lion Silver. All right, so what happens here with this machine? What does it do? OK, so this is our paint booth. It's fully enclosed. We'll load the shell on the conveyor and then it's going to travel in in front of the painter and he'll be able to spray. It's going to go around the booth four times. Wow. It's going to get one coat of primer, two coats of Detroit Lion Silver, and one clear coat. Very thorough. So there's someone that's inside of there doing the painting themselves. Yes. All the painting is done manually. All right, we have our painted helmets. Now what? So after the helmets have been painted, they're going to go into the drying room. They'll stay in the drying room for 24 hours. They'll stay overnight at about 120 degrees, and then they'll be re removed the next morning. Yeah, you can tell as we walk in this room, it gets a lot hotter. Yes, definitely. OK, while we are waiting on our paint to dry, we are here in the test lab. So tell me what goes on in this room. Sure. So you see behind us, we have four drop test machines. And what they're doing here is they're measuring the impact and the velocity of the drop. So the goal here is to see how well the internal components are dissipating the force of that drop. So this is a big part in player safety. Correct. Now, oftentimes the team's equipment crew will actually be the ones putting the decals on, but this is where it really starts to look like a lion's helmet. Exactly. So what we see here is Heather is applying the center stripe, the two lion side decals, the front bumper, and also the back bumper and the NFL shield. And of course, the Lions helmet changed recently. The Lions got new uniforms, and this is the all-new one. So what's different? Yeah, so the center stripe was a bit thinner on the older helmet. Uh, it had a black and a white center stripe here. The lion was outlined in black. And the font is and, different as well. And the well. font is different on the back and on the front. Now we are at the assembly line. So there's a lot that goes into this part of the process. So kind of walk me through each of these steps. Sure. So the first step after it comes over to the assembly line is interior and exterior labeling. So after the helmet is completely labeled, they're going to install the interior Velcro and snap hardware. So after that process step is complete, they're going to actually start to build the helmet. So building the helmet means is they're going to install a crown, a back neck side liner, and an occipital lock. So once that's complete here, it'll go on to where the face guard is set up, and it's going to be face guard installation. And of course, the Lions have a new face guard this year. It's a different color than what it was Correct. Before. So traditionally, the Lions had a black face guard. So now they're going with a custom silver face mask. So the next step then is they're going to install the face frames and a chin strap. And then finally, the last step of the operation here on the assembly line is a final inspection. All right, so final inspection happens here, and this is the final product that Correct. we come up with. All right, and this one's ready to go, ready to hit the field? Ready to go. Ben, we've seen this helmet from start to finish. Now it's ready to make its way back to Detroit. So how does it do that? Right, so after the helmet comes off the assembly line, it's going to come over here to our shipping department. They're going to confirm the order. They're going to create their shipping labels, and they're going to put it in a box. All right, well, we will see this one off here. Thank you so much for the tour today. We love the new facility, and we appreciate the behind-the-scenes look. Oh, thank you. That's Ben Marker for DetroitLines.com. I'm Tori Petrie.